want to heal before we pu push this. Directly across the way, okay. Just need one more part. Yeah, he caught me there. Definitely caught me. I don't know why I did that, I really didn't need to, but... Extra health, I guess. Place the deagle with the uh, automatic weapon there. Door open, it is shit. Just right. Across me, I don't think he's dead though. I don't actually know if that's real. I don't think it's a real wall, it's just glass. Needed to neutralize the bad guys first. Americans had a long and checkered history of involvement in Panama. This was my sorry chapter, for what it's worth. Daphne. And the rest of the boat. Fuck, man. This is brutal. I didn't think things would be like this. I should have jumped in that goddamn canal myself and swum my way back to New York. Let me ask you again, Max. What do you think you were really doing in Panama? Means I missed the last Golden AK part. That sucks. 
People die. Innocent people. Who do you think robbed them? I don't know. I was told it was people who disliked Daphne Bernstein. Something about an unpleasant divorce. Her ex-husband worked on Wall Street. Do you think he has easy access to Panamanian death squads? Guess I didn't really think about it. You were smuggling something, weren't you? No, no, no. I mean, I didn't realize it at the time. I, I didn't think too much about it, but yes, Marcelo did drive off with something. I don't know what, I didn't see him until we got to Brazil a week or so later. I think it was money. I think Marcelo and Victor have a friendly banker there in Panama. Your little cruise was to deliver the cash to him because there it's easier to loan. But I thought the Broncos were rich. Rodrigo's rich. The other two, they live well, but they don't have real money. Victor's campaigns were always financed by his brother. That is the way among certain rich families there. The eldest brother is the king. You know, he gets everything. The other two, not so much. And now Rodrigo's dead. Exactly. And Marcelo, too. It's an awful tragedy for Victor, huh? A man running on a law and order ticket, you know, whose brothers have both been killed in such terrible circumstances. A true patriot. What about Marcelo? Marcelo. Marcelo was an idiot. For this true, I certainly don't believe he could possibly have known about it. But I do believe some other scheme, you know, some other bullshit. Whatever that cash was, Victor could have talked him into something. I don't know yet. And Passos? Well, Passos is a bum ex-cop. Failed in America. Failed in Sao Paulo. He was surrounded by more money and more poverty than his tiny little head can handle. You think guys like that can't be bought? No, but if... But nothing. He's probably not a bad guy. He's just a man caught in the crossfire of a very rich family. What about me? You. You're the fall guy. The, the American. Running around, acting like the action hero. Killing lots of people. <laughs> You're a stroke of genius. That ain't how it is. You were an angry ex-cop. You were sitting in a bar with a history of violence and a history of a bad temper. You were perfect. Me and Passos went to the academy together. Did you? I don't fucking know! Okay, let's take a drive, Max. You wanna do some good, hmm? You wanna get yourself killed in a good cause? Then I need you to check something out for me. Like what? That incident at the favela today. Now, some of my officers say a bus drove off some captives. They did, I saw it. But no captives were ever booked. They probably handed them off to the paramilitary death squads, the, uh... Casa Preto. Right. Who did? I don't know, the cops. The other cops, the cops who shoot on sight. The Ufe. Right. Max, you see that building there? The Imperial Palace Hotel? Yeah, that's what it says. People go in there, in large groups, under armed guard. But it isn't a police station, and no one comes out of there. Why don't you just go in and bust the joint, get a warrant? I'm only a cop, Max. <laughs> So you keep saying. <clears throat> Time to find out what was going on here. I didn't fancy booking myself in the presidential suite, so went looking for the basement. Chapter 12. I wasn't too excited about the acoustics in this place. A couple of gunshots would sound like I'd walked in here with a goddamn marching band. It's good for one shot. It wasn't pretty, but I guess none of what was about to happen was gonna be. It All was right. the question I kept on asking myself. How could I have been so blind? Uh, two guns, the golden FMP G3S and the golden RPG, six clues. I was convinced the Gonna Broncos try my best got like the I wrong do. man for the job, but maybe De Silva was right. I was the stooge. The bad joke <laughs> the everybody got but me.
Executing, burning the bodies, because Victor's whole plan was to turn the favela into, uh, what was it? Uh, not con. I think it was a hotel, but it could be in condos. Either those guys wheeled their trash out on stretchers, or something was seriously wrong here. Was there anything they didn't have a grubby hand in? A few days earlier, I'd have called it a coincidence, but I'd written off too many of those already. I'll take those. Doesn't look like I can open that. Can continue on then. Imperial Palace Hotel was a five-star bona fide shithole. I needed to find out why guests were checking in by the bus load and checking out by the bag load. Maybe the service would be better upstairs. Fazendo nada, tô fazendo tudo sozinho. Tipo. Como é que eu não tô pegando nada, rapaz? Tô trabalhando aqui, ficando de olho e eu escutando você reclamar. Ó, 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 ó. Olha o quê? Para com essa viadagem, para de reclamar, de um saco cheio. Porra, põe a porra. Ei, I think I didn't even move and I missed like seven shots on him. It's kind of bad. Mm, I feel like that grenade launcher. What the fuck do I have? Yeah, okay. That's what I thought, but I wasn't sure. I feel like that grenade launcher er, would be a little too much in this area. Some guy right there, he keeps fucking poking his head out. That was well timed on their part. So they didn't execute properly. Today, sir. Ah! 
Much ammo as I can before I push on. I don't like being in this spot. Lucky son of a bitch. Golden gunbird over there. These guys hit hard, man. Dude with the RPD laid me out. <laughs> Trying to make sure there was no one else in, else in that corner there. Really trying to get out of that. De Silva and I had the same fan club. I knew enough, and he knew too much. We'd both become targets. Passos's ID card. It was no great surprise he'd made their hit list, but to discover he was really Colombian? No wonder some locals seemed to laugh at his accent. What else had he lied to me about? That was extremely lucky. Played that a little crazy, but I suppose sometimes you have to. I needed to find a way upstairs. Surely nobody would notice another hole in the wall. You can't unsee something, but you can dull the effect. I knew this thing was bigger than me, bigger than the Broncos, but I only had a glimpse of the whole picture. Like looking in the mirror and for an instant seeing what everyone else sees, a bad caricature of a better man. Door up heads open. Buffet. That deal at the favela was getting dirtier by the minute. Those bastards were clearly in bed with the crush of Prado. Now we just had to find out why. Starting with a bit of bedtime reading for Mr. De Silva. When you've lived the kind of life I've lived, 
reality comes at you through a different lens. But nothing could have prepared me for what was on the other side of that door. I had to get those poor bastards out of there. Get them out of here. Go. Go. Wait. I said get... Serrano. Serrano. He looked pathetic. A man defeated. I walked away and left him to his own personal nightmare. Whatever hell this was De Silva had sent me into, I knew I had to put an end to it. I had no choice but to push on. I didn't understand everything, and I never would, but I understood enough. Sometimes a complicated problem is best tackled with a simple solution. I love the golden gun in my fucking pouch that's just, you know. do a little bit more damage than that, but that's fine. Rather an automatic rifle. Bastard caught me mid-reload. Stick to the left side here. I wanted to check that pool and the other side for gun parts, and I don't see either or. Worst part is that was so predictable that I was like extremely ready for that. Let's back up this way. Woo. Nasty headshot on that guy. But I thought for sure maybe a gun part in there. I see him. I believe he wasn't by himself. There is no way. That's the most unlucky guy ever. Holy fuck. Hit him with blind fire from this was the left side. Earth. De Silva was no fool. I'd have driven on off into the sunset too if I were him. But I was in too far now. That was insane. Just a light fixture. I was like, what the hell is that on the wall?
there it was, the soundtrack to my life. That's hilarious. And for a few seconds came harmony. See, that's why I really like about the storytelling with this game. They're not afraid to break the fourth wall there. Finally. Me puts away this the primary first, like, or the secondary for my primary, and then the game. How is this guy moving? It's organs. Oh my god. What the fuck is going on here? How, how much do you want? What have you been doing? I am a doctor. I help people. What have you been doing here? It's easy for you. Listen, I know people. They will kill you. I can help you. Trust me. Please. Please. What have you been doing? I have a lot of money. Look, look. Lots of money. I do important research, please. Caralho! Caralho! Espera, espera. Eu posso explicar tudo. Tudinho! Não, não. Por favor. Pelo amor de Deus. Por favor, não me mata. Não, não. Pelo amor de Deus. E aí, Totó? For all Serrano owed me, he paid enough. For now, I had bigger debts to call in. Yeah, that's that's pretty fucked up, but that's what I expected as soon as we realized that the bus wasn't going with the cops. I figured it was either human trafficking or this. The decimation of these people and um, organ trading. I don't want to cross this threshold because I know it's about to start some shit, and I'm actually pretty much up for time. Kind of want to end it here. <laughs> Even I could guess what demolição meant. That building was condemned in more ways than one. Try to push into like maybe the next area. There had to be something I wasn't seeing. locked from the outside. Good locker. They had a fucking arsenal in here. It was time to bring this little hellhole to the ground, so I decided to put some of their C4 to good use. It's gonna be a really shitty place to pick up from, but I'm gonna end it here. Where actually, those bastards were going. They wouldn't need medication. And then when we pick it back up, we'll continue with this next area. So, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and say comment below, subscribe, share. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.